look like he's gearing up for a party. But instead, 36-year-old Matt Silver Valance plans to use 200 of these large-sized helium balloons to attempt to fly from the iconic Robben Island to Cape Town. This is the bar that connects everything, all the balloons on top, and there will be a harness that will be held, I will be sitting in, almost like a baby carrier, yeah. and I'll be sitting in the harness and it will, I'll be sitting in the harness like that, yeah. and I can, with, with my hands, I can reach everywhere. The South African Civil Aviation Authority has already approved the Daredevil flight and has given the green light on the safety measures in place. But why risk possibly ending up in deep water? As a paramedic in the Western Cape Ambulance Service a while ago, uh, being able to uh, deliver unwell or very scared uh, children to Red Cross Children's Hospital was fantastic. It was the right environment, an incredible environment. So when I heard about the, the need for fundraising for the Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital, it seemed like the right thing to do. He'll of course need the right weather conditions, so ENCA's weather team has been keeping a watchful eye. Well, in order for Matt to fly, he needs clear weather conditions, very little cloud, no rainfall, and he's going to need a light northwesterly, westerly or southwesterly wind. Well, at the moment, it looks like the winds are in place for either Thursday or Friday afternoon, um, but there is still quite a bit of uncertainty, so we have kept it an orange light at this point. Saturday is looking a little bit more promising. Now, if all goes according to plan and Mother Nature plays along, Matt will hopefully be attached to these party balloons come the weekend. Fingers crossed he will successfully touch down and get that much-needed cash for his charity of choice. Tanya Neft, Cape Town.